My name is Deepti Gupta. I'm a dentist. I started off as a public programs assistant, but it was turning out that a lot of the explainers that were coming in through the high schools were not comfortable speaking to other people. And so that was hindering their training. So they had to start for one year at public programs assistant, and then we could transfer over to the explainers. So that was in 1992 that I started. And then after one year, I went into the explainer program, where I was for about the next three to four years. The explainer program is such a good transition for people, for children or teenagers that need to go to straight to a job but aren't ready to handle the pressures of that. So the best part was the fact that everybody else was in the same boat. And we all work together, kind of learning from each other's mistakes, learning from each other's awkwardness. It gives you a lot of confidence in science and teaching. So it helped me in school a lot because I was actually able to use everything that I'm learning in school and see it in a three-dimensional perspective. And then to get my hands dirty with the laser demonstration and the chemistry demonstration and the fact that I get to work with liquid nitrogen when I'm 15 years old, it was just like, like I can't believe they're letting me do this. And it gives you so much confidence. So after that, any job you get, whether it's a work-study job or some people don't go to college and go straight into the workforce, they have this confidence that other people straight out of high school will never have. Everything that we learned in the science career ladder can help you succeed in almost any career. It doesn't even have to be a science career or teaching career because you have to know how to work with people and talk to people uh, in every job. One of the things that my patients really love about me is that I explain to them what's actually going to happen in their mouth in a way that they can understand because medical schools and dental schools, they really don't teach you that. And I think anybody out there who's been to a doctor and they tell you all this jargon, it's intimidating to ask, well, what does that mean because you don't want to see stupid but it's not stupid everyone is smart as long as someone knows how to explain things i have a practice out in little neck like which is in queens have a manager have staff and we go in see patients you know work with them treat do treatment planning execute the treatment plans do post-ups follow-ups and make sure the patient's completely healthy before they go if you're thinking about a stem career find someone who's in that career find 10 people who are in that career and actually talk to them about what their daily life is like, what they like about it, what they don't like about it. And ask what it took. There's just so many different areas you can go into. Technology, we're, at the, we're in the middle of the best time. You know, you, you can invent an app, you know, at nighttime, at three in the morning, do whatever you want. This wasn't available back then. And so be creative, be motivated, be ambitious, but be realistic. That's my